Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today I would like to show you how to design or create diagrams in draw.io. Um, it's, it's a free version and it's pretty much very effective and similar to Visio. So if you want something that is free and quick and easy to learn, this is the way to go. So a quick uh, highlight, I've been tasked by my, by the business to create a diagram similar to this. I've got, I work in the security space. So basically all what this diagram is, it's you've got your Azure Sentinel, which is your SIEM solution. And for retention, they would like to use uh, Azure Storage and Azure Data Explorer. Ignore these topics, ignore these topics if you don't know all what this is, this whole point of this presentation is to show you how draw.io works and you can use it for what you would like okay so um to draw.io is free there are two versions one is the web version one is the desktop app you can install the desktop app by just googling and trying to download it however i'm just using the web version here so it just it, that the url is draw.io you click on it it's going to say where do you want to save it i'm just going to decide that later cool so all what this is is it's a, it's a very straightforward app. I'm just going to quickly show you a couple of things just to get you eased into this before I start simulating this whole diagram. This will take me under five minutes, but I'll just quickly show you some basics. Um, like, like how uh, you have with Wizio, basically you have a set of default uh, diagrams that you can choose from. Let's say, for example, you have a square here. I've got another square here. This one will let you know. Um, if you want to align it properly in the center or if you want to go here it'll allow you to go center here there is when you highlight this it will tell you you will have these blue arrows that you can see here all what it does is, is when you double click on that it will allow you to create different diagrams so if i want to say i want to create a a rectangle there you go it, it, it'll create that for you and connect it for you so that's what it does these are squares now the good thing with this particular software is as you see these are basics however i want uh, i want things from azure because i'm trying to draw a shape for sentinel storage data factory etc i just click on more shapes over more shapes here this will give you the whole swath of different shapes I, i've selected azure i've selected cloud and enterprise i also would like to so if you are into google there you go you've got google apps google cloud platform here um, and that's pretty much it for me i'm just going to say apply if you see that now i will have lots of options here so let's take for example what this is there you go this is a storage so if i go here to azure storage You've got lots of options here. However, I don't want to go searching for each and every um, a title. I'm just going to go here on top and I'm just going to type in Azure Storage. Uh, okay, that doesn't look to be more precise. There you go. This is what I want. Cool. So, uh, as you, so just a recap on the basics. These are all the shapes that you have. You can add on more shapes if you want to have things like Google Cloud Platform or you want to have Azure or AWS. Also, I think I would like to say is, let's take, for example, a line. You see this blue here? You can actually move this line to this box here. The moment it shows you green and it shows you this blue here, it means it's basically attached to the corner. From here, you can use this this here and if i move this close to this particular box there you go it's one line you can also right click on that line and you can duplicate that line you can right so now you see this is this direction if you right click and i think there should be a reverse here there you go there's a reverse it'll reverse that line if you want to add any text in this so let's say you've got text for example always on your right side you have options to modify the text so if i don't want 12 i can say 25 20 yeah 20 it will increase the size um, um, also now when i highlighted this box here it gives me styles you can have different colors if you want the text i've already told you what the text is um, you can then arrange it so what this arrange basically does is so let's say you've got this one here you see this it's not aligned so if i select this one and select this one i will be able to align it 
So this one is basically length, but if I if I go, I think on top over here, see that now it's kind of aligned. The tops are all aligned. Um, similarly here and here, let's say we want to vertical, we want to make sure that they both are properly spaced up and things like that. If I click on vertical, you see that now they are all perfectly vertical. Yeah, so these are the basics there. This is the text and that's the style that you have here. So now let's go back to this particular diagram. Let's delete that. Let's select that. The first things that I would like to have is a data source. I'm going to search to see. I would not think there would be any data source, but I could just create any rectangles. So, uh, so that's cloud repositories more. I could, I could use this. That's a cloud storage. That looks similar to this. But if I don't want that, I want a different color. I just need to go here and right click. As you, I need, as you can see, I've got three I need. So right click. Duplicate, right click, duplicate. It's three. I've just got to put it here. I'm going to put it here. Now, as I mentioned to you, select these three. Go into style or go into arrange, sorry. And I'm going to just use vertical. See that? It's come, come back correctly. Perfect. So that's job done one. I will first do all the diagrams before I write the wordings. Uh, next is Azure Sentinel. Um, Sentinel being... Part of the Sentinel, I would assume it's there. Yeah, there you go. I've got Sentinel here. I'm just putting it similar to here. Perfect. What's next? I've got a storage and I've got a data factory. So next, I want to go storage. Okay. So if I'm just going into data factory, uh, typing properly would possibly help. Or I think it's just Azure Data Factory. Okay, beautiful. Um, that's 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 over here. And then we also have a storage account. Um, that would be Azure Storage. Uh, the result that we saw last time. Yep, yeah, perfect. Maybe over here. Okay, beautiful. All right. So um, am I aligning this properly? Yep, yeah, that's good. Possibly this is a bit more bigger. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. Center. All right, beautiful. Okay, um, so, uh, all right, I want my Azure Data Explorer and a user. So there you go. So let's go Data Explorer. Lovely. And finally, And finally, a user as well. I would hope if I click on user, there should be something. Yeah, looks good. Maybe a bit more colorful one. Uh, yeah, there you go. User enterprise. Why not? Okay, beautiful. Um, need to do the connections. That's all going here. Okay, so you've got the data sources going to Sentinel. So as, as what I said, click on this. This will give you here. You just need to drag that blue to anywhere in the center and drag it here um, you can again click on a couple here or just duplicate like how i showed so this one go here goes here here goes here to the center perfect from here then i go into uh, lines again so maybe one two three four lines um, so let's go, let me see if I can just duplicate this, right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate, right click, duplicate. Okay. And if I just drag this one here, and if I just say this one goes to here, this one goes here. Yeah. And right click reverse. Perfect. Um, this one goes here. To center, perfect. And this one goes here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, and I just need one more that goes to Sentinel. Okay.
Lovely. Okay, beautiful. Um, now, uh, this one is actually a dotted line. Okay, so let's go to more shapes. Okay, I can see a dotted line here. Yeah, that's that's under general, by the way. Yeah, and I'm just going to move that here. And then move the dotted line here. That's good. Okay. Uh, this line. Can I do a style? Uh, no. This one here. Yep. Yeah, that's put on. So I, I so to make the style here, already select here, go into style and just change it there. Okay. Right. Uh, next. All what you need to do is basically name these. I will show you a show you one of the couple and I will do the remaining so I don't have to waste your time um, I'll so I'll just do maybe this one query long-term data and I will fill the other one so I don't have to waste your time it's pretty much the same thing if you just double click on this and text what is it called query long-term data and if I just type query long term long term data and Okay, and here, if I'm just going to move it here, and also I just need to think rotate it this way. Okay, and if I just bring it this way, maybe I rotate a bit more, you know. Yeah, that's spot on. That's beautiful. Okay, lovely. I'm just going to do the rest as shown here. I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. So I've basically uh, all the all the ones that you've got query, Azure Data Factory, data source, things are similar to what we have cr done here. Um, so I've just done that now. Um, I've also gone ahead and done uh, the red color, which says X months retention. Uh, that is this X months retention here. So all what you need to do is, as I said, click on the text and you can actually modify the text. Let's go maybe 15. And instead of that, let's go maybe actually red. There you go. Okay, apply. Perfect. And that's exactly what it is. Okay. And I've got data older than X months. So let's do that as well now. So let's double click on that. Text data older than X months. Cool. So it's as simple as that. And okay, finally, you might want to know how to save it. You can either save it this way or you can even export as JPG. You can even, there's also Visio, Visio Beta uh, format where you can open it with, with Visio if you like in the future. You can also do HTML. I would just go in and just do as, let's say, for example, a PDF. Now, the most important thing is the moment you do that, it'll give you an option. Do you want to have the uh, grid or not? I would always say no. And you can crop it if you want to crop it. I don't want to crop it because I want the whole thing. And um, you can also have a transparent background as well. The moment you click on export, it just exports it. It's going to give you this option. Where do you want it? I would just click on your device or in your OneDrive, save it, and off you go. You can download and off you go. So just to recap, uh, this is this is called uh, draw draw.io. You can access it via the web or download it, and it's fairly stock standard. You can create more shapes if you want here, and you can just basically search in the diagram and do it. See my video again if you want. Apart apart from that, thank you very much, guys. Uh, please feel free to like and subscribe the video, and let me know if you require anything else in the comments. Cheers. Bye.